Hello and welcome to Friday Thrift Finds. In today's video, I'll take you along with me to a Goodwill and then I'll show you my haul. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. Okay, so for today's Friday Thrift Finds, I hit up a Goodwill and they were having 75% off of all their blue tags. So Goodwill's prices have gotten not so great in my area, but when they're 75% off, you can still get good deals. So all of my items were 75% off, um, except for two, because the day after this haul, I actually had some thrift store regret a term coined by Robin Johnson and I was feeling really sad the next day like why didn't I get that thing so I went back to the thrift store to look for something that I really wished I had gotten and I found it and then I also got something else and I got them on sale there's a story behind that but you're gonna have to watch to find out what it is so let's go ahead and start with my 75% off items okay so the first thing I got was this basket and it has this piece it's like i don't know if it's terracotta and you put this piece in your oven when you're baking your bread and then you take it out and you put it in the bottom of your basket and maybe lay a dishcloth over and you put your bread in here and it actually will keep your bread warm so that was 75 percent off of 2.99 wow my math is going to be challenged a uh, dollar it's under a dollar fifty so probably like a buck Ish. Ooh, should have my calculator out. But anyway, it was 75% off of $2.99, whatever that works out to be. Okay. And then I also got this. So this was a buck. So that was actually probably under a buck. Um, so this, well, oh, right. It's four into three. Four into three dollars. That was like 75%. Excuse me, 75 cents. There, there's the math. There's the math. The math is kicking in. Okay, so this I got. Uh, I'm probably either going to stain it or whitewash it. I'm going to leave the apples on it. Like, I don't want to paint over them, but maybe um, do a little something to the wood to, like, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, but this was $3.99, and so I got it for a dollar. I thought that would be pretty for the fall for my displays. Okay, then I got, this was a great deal for something this size, it was pretty remarkable. So this is like an unfinished tool box, you know, tool carrier kind of thing. And I'm gonna use it inside, probably paint it. I don't think I'll stain it. I think I'm probably gonna paint it and put some kind of graphic on it, but it was $3.99, so I got it for a dollar, which for something this size is a really, really good deal. So that was a buck. And then I picked this up. This was normally $2, so I got it for 50 cents. And so it is just a little crate. It's already been painted, but meh, it's not really 
not really my colors, I'll probably paint it white to be honest with you. And I like to use these on tables or like as a catch-all or for floral arrangements, any number of things, but for 50 cents, I thought, mm, I'm not gonna leave Hello. that behind. Oh, someone's arriving home. Hi. Hello. Okay. Okay, so the next few items from that 75% off sale are actually for something I'm working on outside which I will probably put together over Memorial Day weekend. This weekend coming up is wild and crazy. Um, we have dance recitals and things and family coming into town, so I probably won't get a chance to do it this coming weekend, but the weekend after, and it's gonna be so cute. I'm super excited to um, make a video about it. So all of these items will be for that. And I basically, I needed dishes, and they don't have to be nice dishes. I just wanted them to look nice together. And so what I tried to do was to find dishes that I thought might get thrown out otherwise, or you know, go to the bins, the Goodwill bins or whatever. I just wanted to find things that maybe other people wouldn't want and something that didn't have like real value. So if I goofed that, you can let me know. But as far as I know, I think that these are good choices. Okay, so the first ones are these um, white dishes and they have a blue um, decoration on them. There's no mark. And there was only three of them. So I thought that was perfect because you know, who wants three dishes? So I got those and they were marked at $2 and I got them at 75% off. So I paid 50 cents a piece. So here's the three, one, two, and the third. Okay. And then I got some, um, so again, I don't, sure that, I don't know if these have a mark either. I don't think they do. Nope, these don't have a mark either. So they're just little china plates. And these were all marked at 99 cents. And so I got them for 25 cents a piece, which is great. And the idea is that I wanted them to look pretty together. So those look pretty together. And again, they're only marked at 99 cents. So I got them for a quarter a piece. And so I got one little, like maybe it's a salad plate. I don't really know. And I got two of these, or three, sorry, three that are like bread plates. And then I got two little bowls and one teacup. And the teacup has a chip. Again, that does not matter for what I'm going to do. So 25 cents a piece, that was perfect for my craft. Okay, now the thrift store regret. So I had seen this item and I told you, like sometimes I put things in my cart so that I can walk around and think of them. And I don't know why I didn't get it. Honestly, I was just like, well, eh. But then the next day I was like, why didn't I get that? Because I think it was only a dollar or it would have been a dollar had I gotten it, but I didn't. Uh, no, no, it wasn't a blue tag. That's what it was. It was a pink tag. So it's this and it's a pink tag and it was going to be $3.99. And so, you know me, I'm cheap. So for four bucks, I was like, eh. I was like, no. The next day I was like, I could totally spray, just spray this to protect it and put it outside and have flowers like next to my chair. Cause I think it like used to be a magazine holder or something, but I thought that would be adorable with flowers in it. Cause I'm always looking for things to put different kinds of things to put flowers in. So I was really regretting the fact that I hadn't bought that. I'm like, oh, I'm only $3.99, come on, Nicole. So anyway, I went back the next day and it was still there, which is so unusual. Usually when I go back the next day, things aren't there. So I got this and then I also got a beautiful flower pot, which was normally $9.99, gorgeous. It's um, ceramic and it's like salt glazed. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. I will actually insert a little clip of that here. And here's the pot that I got for, well, it was marked at $9.99. We already planted in it um, on Mother's Day, so. I just thought it was really pretty. Oh, my shadow is causing some troubles, but you get the idea. And so that pot was marked at $9.99 and it had a little bit of dirt in it. So I brought it up to the cash register and you know, I warned the cashier. I was like, I'm so sorry, this has dirt in it. You know, just be aware there's a hole, the drainage hole. And I was worried that the dirt was gonna go through the hole. So I was like, just be careful. I don't wanna get your counter all dirty. So she rings me up and then she's like, basically she gave me a disc. She's like, I'm gonna give you 25% off the friends and family discount for being so courteous. She's like, anytime someone is that courteous, they should get something in return. And I was like, oh, that is so nice. So there you go. So I actually got the thrift store regret item. So I got this for 25% off. So that was $3. And I got the flower pot that I showed you 
um, for $7.50, which is an amazing price for that flower pot. So, so that was nice. You know, I always try to do the right thing and be courteous. You should always be courteous when you can and usually you get nothing in return, but sometimes you get rewarded. So, so that was my cool story about that. I hope you've enjoyed these items. I've enjoyed showing them to you. And if you like this kind of video, I also do yard sale Sundays every Sunday in the summer, so you can tune in for that. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole Northgarden. Have a wonderful day.